Okay, so today we are going to change a carburetor on a GX160 engine. First thing you're gonna do is take off the air filter cover. Then there's a little spindle, you're gonna take off that air filter element. And so that's the first thing you're gonna do. This is just a standard Honda GX160 engine on a plate compactor. Sometimes they're red, sometimes, in this case, it's a black one. It's also be gonna, gonna be kind of similar to like a Kohler CH255. These are like five and a half, six horsepower engines. Horizontal shaft. You're gonna take your socket wrench and you're gonna loosen. There's gonna be two nuts on the outside of the air filter housing assembly and you're gonna loosen those off and then there's gonna be like pins behind it and you're gonna slide this off. Kind of get those loosened off. You can actually slide the whole housing. Now it's going to be, it might be kind of stuck with the springs that are attached on the accelerator, so you might have to loosen those up and also loosen up the fuel line that's attached to the gas tank. So, got that air filter assembly housing off, and the next piece you're going to take off is the gasket on the outside of the carburetor. Here's a view from the top. So with uh, needle nose pliers, or you could probably do it with your hand if your fingers aren't too big, um, you're going to loosen the accelerator springs off just so you can release this carburetor. There should be two of them on it. And it's that long kind of rod that we're pointing to right now. And then there's a spring as well. So that one just pops up. And the other one's kind of like an S curve. You don't want to really bend the springs, they're kind of set to the right settings, so just kind of be careful with them. So there's the first one, and then the second one's still attached, or I guess we loosened it up. You're going to just kind of pop it off. Okay, so now the carburetor is off, and you're going to remove this second gasket. So there's a gasket on each side of the carburetor, and that just makes sure that no air gets in and that your carburetor is mixing the right air fuel mixture. They're really sensitive, especially on these. You always got to use good gas, you know, right amount of oil. Don't let too much dirt in, change your air filter. So it's really important to clean those off. So um, in this case, we're just going to put it back on. So now if you're cleaning these and you need to do it, the, I think one of the cheapest ways I've heard, and I took a Walbro uh, carburetor class, was to just use an ultrasonic cleaner, which that sounds like a fancy word. It's just a jewelry cleaner. I believe you can get one at Harbor Freight for like $20. Um, some people use like sea foam, but you gotta really like open up the whole carburetor and it doesn't always work and there's carb cleaners and different brands, but an ultrasonic cleaner's worked really well for us. It's just like a little cleaning solution. You fill it up in water, you put it in and it gets in all that dirt and grime that's clogging up your, your engine. If we bring in probably eight of these compactors in a year, I would say, or let's say I bring in a hundred, I would say like about 80 of them are carburetor and fuel related issues. It's never like, oh, the, the exciter box or this. They always tell me it's something else, but in almost every case it's carburetor. They get dirt in the, the, the fuel or they never change the air, you know, air filter. But a lot of times this thing is choked up with bad fuel and there's dirt in the bowl and um, they're just really sensitive. Sometimes it's just the smallest speck of sand or just debris that can really mess everything up. So having these things super clean is really important and it's just your regular maintenance. I mean these Hondas, you can repair them. There's no reason to throw them out. You can put new carburetors on. Um, and sometimes it's cheaper to just buy a, a whole new carburetor than actually cleaning it and wasting your time. You can get those on like eBay or online or from Honda's kind of expensive, but they have OEM brands, you can probably buy a new Honda GX carburetor for like $12 online. Stop messing around, spraying jet or cleaning it, just put a new one on, it's going to fire right up. So once you slide it back on, you're going to reconnect your springs, same way they came off, you know, and push the throttle to make sure that those springs is actually, they're actually like moving and they're adjusted properly. Then you're just going to put your air filter assembly housing on. You'll take your socket wrench and tighten those up. It takes, it takes a second. Same way it came off, so not too bad.
But after you check your oil and your gas and, it's, and you're pulling and it's not working, the next thing you should do is check your, your carburetor. And you know, pull this off, open the bowl. If it looks the least bit like discolored, change it out or clean it. That's gonna be your issue. Um, and if it still doesn't start after you clean it, it could be like something in your air filter also. So you can pull the air filter out and run it without the air filter, see if that gets it going. If that's the case, then change your air filter. This is always like my one or two step. I usually go right to this when I'm, I'm fixing a plate compactor engine. So we got that assembly on, we put the air filter on, we put the spindle on, now we're just putting the cover on. And that's about it for carburetors. Um, make sure to check it. It's gonna look really similar to this on all engines, so kind of start with this process. And it's not just for a GX160, you can do the same process for you know, a Honda GX270 and a Honda GX390, a lot of different sizes in the horizontal engine shaft range. Uh, thanks for watching.